Now, ladies, if you're feeling a little hot, feeling a little warm, it's possibly beyond the weather. It's because of this brother who's sitting before me tonight because he's on fire. You know, this cat is back at number one again. The second single off of the uh, Rebirth to Marvin. And uh, he's at a new level that I want to get into. But it's a pleasure to be welcoming formally to uh, The Quiet Storm and formally to New York, October, London. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Man, I'm good. It's been a, it's been a long day, but, uh, you know, I'm taking it, taking it in strides. I understand. And, and you know what? At this stage of the game right now, October, that's probably the best thing for you to do. Absolutely. Because things have been moving kind of rapidly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You've seen a change that I don't even understand. Yeah. But explain it to me. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I really got to give it to the fans because, you know, it's something that I can't do myself at all. You know, it's, it's, it's really about having a great team. It's about having great resources and, and having a great label behind you and, and also having, you know, great, great people behind you in, in, in radio, like, you know, people like Troy Marshall, shout out to Troy Marshall and people like yourself. So, you know, I got to give it to you guys because without you guys, the, the, the push, the push stops. So we know what we know and uh, we recognize what we recognize and you coming out to get, well, Snoop knew. Yeah. And uh, he knew that we would like it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and once we loved it, man, I mean, we loved it. I mean, yeah. for you, there's a lot of old school in you. There has to be. It is. There's a lot of old school in me. I've, 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 I've been listening to old school music, Frankie Beverly and Mays, Luther Vandross, um, just so many artists for so long, you know, uh, you know, just being in the back of my, of my parents' cars. And even now, you know, I'm, I'm 37, about to turn 38, and me and my boys hang out still to this day and listen to the old school sounds, listen to, Mar- you know, Marvin Gaye, obviously we listen to, <laughs> you know, the Ozzy brothers and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So even, even us at this age, we're still listening to the same music. So that, you know, it's just great music. It's timeless. Very, very timeless. A lot of folks think that you have just come out with the rebirth and that was your first venture. You've been doing this music thing. I mean, it was inevitable yeah. that you're going to do music yeah. with as many singers Absolutely. In your family alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, it was, you know, they, they didn't get the chance to get it to the to the height that I'm at as far as family goes uh, and, and music. But, you know, it's like, you know, one person would play piano, another per- and four other people would sing, and another person, you know, m- might have played drums or whatnot. But, you know, so music's always been following me, and uh, I decided to slow down and let it catch up to me and grab me and hold me and take me to, to the next level. At what age did it? It really catch you. Uh, I started writing when I was fifteen. Uh, it was it was really trash work, I have to say. So trash work. I, trash work. I, it was terrible, man. I was I was trying to write, and <laughs> it was it was terrible. But I, I, you know, when I turned eighteen, I think that's when I was like, okay, let me let me really you know hone in on 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 the craft and and get better. And started looking at artists like Luther Vandross and how he would do his runs and. And, uh, you know, like I said, Ronald Isley, the Isley brothers, uh, how they do their runs and how they can can capture the audience with different parts and melodies of a song. So that's when I really started to really take it, you know, seriously at 18. So and that was the songwriting, too. That was the songwriting, too. Yeah, absolutely. So now you is it true that you're from Indiana? Yeah. South Bend, Indiana. So So I love the stories behind the songs because it's Mm -hmm. always a story. Yeah. So what happened on my home drive? Mahalan Drive, I just, when I got with Snoop, I always would go to Mahalan Drive for, uh, just for peace and clarity. If I wanted to just go ride around and just kind of, you know, park and relax and see, you know, the mountains and, you know, just, just the scenery, that's where I would go, Mahalan Drive. And that's where that song really came from. It's just getting away from the world. That was a place that I wanted to get away, you know. Brother October London, I salute you tonight. Thank you, brother. Many Appreciate more it. success. Yes, thank As you. We do it. We're doing a little mailback tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I su- suggest that you pour yourself a little glass so we can have a good time tonight. Absolutely. Because we're going to kick back. And we're going to also give a world premiere tonight. Yes. He came with goodies, ladies. His name is October London. And in a few weeks, man, you're about to change your life again and go into a different venture. Yeah. Do you know what you're in for? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this, this, the first this, time, this, right? new, this new album is going to be... 
I'm so excited for this because it's it's definitely a step up from Rebirth of Marvin. And Rebirth of Marvin was, you know, it, that was that was the baby, you know. And now here here comes another one, and I'm just so excited for it. But not only that, you're going on a tour. I'm going on not, a tour, not on a little tour. No, you go. He's t- he's Maxwell is taking him out, and Jasmine, Jasmine Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, <sighs> it's going to be crazy. You're coming back around to visit us when that tour happens. Absolutely, we're going to smoke some cigars when you come back. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I'm I'm gonna have one on stage. They, they, they might as well get ready. Oh, I don't know if you can smoke in the building, brother. <laughs> oh, they'll let me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they said the only person I, I remember doing arenas with uh with with, with, Snoop? with Snoop and then the R B R and B experience as well. I did. And they were like the only person that is that they've ever let do that was R. Kelly, and now they let me do it. Oh, well, so cool. I was like, okay, number one. I told you he was number one for a reason. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> what are you? What are you anticipating? Like, what are you most excited about when you hit this tour with uh, Maxwell and? Jones? I'm just most excited about really seeing the fans. That's the best part about it. And I know it may sound kind of cliche, but it it really is because you know the bigger the audience, the more vibe, the more energy you get. You do. I just the more people. I, I mean, I'm I'm nervous in little crowds. If it's a crowd of ten, I'm nervous. I'm nervous the same. <laughs> crowd of ten or fifteen, I'm nervous. But well, big, oh, I just the energy that they draw to you. Look, it's crazy. Let me say something. A few months back, um, October London did a wonderful kickoff to our 50th anniversary here at WBLS. Yeah, and uh, you were well embraced then. Yeah, and the first back to my place was still growing. Yeah. It broke number one, but it was still growing. Yeah. So for you now to go around the country and the world mm-hmm. in massive form is going to be tremendous, and I'm so happy for you. Absolutely, thank you, thank you. And I'm still, I'm, I'm still on the high of the me and uh, Boney James record that's out now. You know, that part. like yes, come sir. on, that part. Boney James and I, we we celebrate our birthdays uh, Sunday. Really, September first. Awesome. awesome. I know you're October seventeenth. Yeah, October seventeenth. Yeah, Libra. So uh, yeah, man, that was hot. Now, how did that situation happen? Well, I've, I've been listening to Boney James since I was a kid. Uh, my dad always played Boney James in the car on road trips and stuff like that. So uh, I've always been a fan of Boney for a very, very long time. And I was like, man, if I did some, if I did jazz or anything, I would definitely do something with Boney James, Huge Groove, you know, Grover Washington, you know, people like that. And next thing you know, I was, I was just talking about it. I was just speaking into existence, and and Boney's people hit us up. And right. I was like, get out. I was like, no, <laughs> no. That's God, brother. And that, that's God all the way. Because I, I was just speaking into existence. And literally that same week, they're like, yeah, Boney's a fan of yours. I'm like, no, you're joking. Look, his name is October Linden, if you didn't catch the voice. Ladies, I'm going to give you an opportunity. This is not, this doesn't happen all the time. Um, this brother's about to hit the road. You love his record, records, songs. So 212-545-1075, 212-545-1075. I can only take maybe one, two calls. But I want to get into debuting your current song. But I want you to tell me about it because I love the stories, October, around, behind the song. So tell me about She Keeps Calling because right now there's probably a million calling you. Yeah. <laughs> a million at a low number. No. Man, she Keeps Calling is, is, is a great record. It, you know, the song is actually, it's weird to say, that song is actually three or four years old. Me and Snoop did that. And I, we did that, and we just put it in the hard drive and was like, one day we're going to release it I on the how, right album. I love how you songwriters do that. You'll write a song and then tuck it away. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I when do you know when to pull it out? When do you know to, this is going to work? You work on a project, and you, you're like, oh, I'm done. And the next thing you know, you're. I go on my live a lot on Instagram. And my Instagram is October the King, by the way, but. I go on Instagram and I go on my live and I play music and I'm like, oh, I forgot about that record. Let's put it on there. Wait a minute. That fits the next album. Let me go ahead and let me toss it on there and see if it fits. And then Snoop's like, yeah, we're, we're I didn't, I didn't pick that. Snoop once again was wow. like, you remember this song? And I was like, yeah, I remember this. I remember she keeps calling. He's like, yeah, we should put that on an album. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's so, do it. I want you to introduce it. All right. I'm going to introduce it. So this is. Well, first off, let me say hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> South Bend, Indiana's own, October, London. And uh, I just want to introduce my brand new single off my new album. New album is coming called October Nights, and it drops in October. And uh, the first single off of the album, October Nights, is She Keeps Calling. And, Enjoy. And trust me, ladies, they're calling them. You know what you're doing. <laughs> 107.5 WBLS. Right. Thank you, brother, and uh, continued success. I know this will be one of many times that we get a chance to sit down and 
chop it up. But Absolutely. I look forward to many more conversations because I want to learn about the trucking situation. And there's a lot of other stories October Linden has that we weren't oh, able to yeah. even get into tonight. Oh, yeah. But this is just chapter one of The Quiet Stone with October Linden. Hey, there we go. Chapter one, baby. On on to chapter two, son. On to chapter two. Let's but go. he's going to be able to have, have chapter three, four, and five after he comes off the tour. That's right. He's going to have right. some new music and new experiences. Let, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. God for bless you, brother. Many God more bless. journeys. Thank you. October London, Inside the Quiet Storm, 107.5 WBLS.